with Tessa and today I'm going to teach something really quick. It's called souffle pancakes. It's very similar to my Japanese cheesecake uh, but this one is a much quicker way of doing it. I have woken up at 5.30 in the morning but just for you guys because I have a very very busy day schedule for me and I did not want to miss out on my Monday release of the video so I hope you guys like it. So we have two egg eggs which I am separating. Make sure you don't uh, get any of the yolk in the whites. Then I have 20 grams of milk added to the egg yolks. Give it a nice mix till it becomes a light yellow um, milkshakey color, mango milkshakey color. Add a teaspoon of vanilla, give it a nice whip. I'm adding 33 grams of flour. Make sure it becomes a chiffon -y consistency where it becomes runny. I'm adding 4 tablespoons of sugar to my egg whites. I'm making a meringue basically. You add it to the egg yellow and swirl it lightly. So I'm adding the batter into my piping bag because I just, I feel like it's easier to control with the shape of it when I'm piping it on. Just waiting here now. I'm honestly, I um, need to put time off three minutes. How many minutes do you think it's been now? Seven seconds. Okay, so the first batch didn't come out too well. I basically didn't use a non-stick pan. I thought I couldn't, I didn't have to use one. It ended up becoming a disaster, which you will eventually see. So now I'm using a non-stick pan and I'm making these pancakes. I'm feeling better? Yeah, that's what it looked like. So today I'm gonna make it a little exciting. And I'm going to put bacon on one half and strawberry and ice cream and cream on the other one. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss it, Missy. Now I'm feeling better. I was a little scared before. Feeling better. Much, 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 much better. This is like a cookie. Look at this. It, it, it grew. Look at it. It grows. Oops, got a bit overdone, but it's okay. We missed the footage of batch two. So this is batch three. I wish they were big ones though. But it's okay, not every attempt has to be successful. Even I fudge up. <laughs> so these came out well because the heat was extremely low. You need to bring it down much lower. I was feeling a much more confident um, feeling as well. Um, I do mess up. I'm gonna do this again next week. And I'm gonna prove to y'all that I can make better pancakes. Not that these are bad. But little burnt, little fudged, and two really nice ones. I'm gonna, I'm going to make you prouder. I'm gonna make myself prouder. So, don't worry. I'm going to make amazing pancakes. Okay, I guess this goes in the fudged up. <laughs> 
so I'm slapping some butter on top of my pancakes I'm going to be pouring some maple syrup that you get at any grocery store this is an amazing combination to be honest I was expecting them to be much higher and much fluffier but I'm going to come back next week with much better but nonetheless the taste is I'm sure it's amazing let's try it out it's the lightest pancake I've ever eaten very honestly I'm not trying to like like I know I did fudge up but um, that doesn't stop it from making the more imperfect it is the better it tastes i think i'm pretty sure that's a, that's true in terms of this but if you want to make it better let's add some bacon into this into merge into this it's crazy something so sweet it can go with something like bacon. It goes so well. Got a bit burnt, but it's fine. And let me have space for one more. Slap some butter. Okay, last bite. <laughs> it's so good. But I'm gonna make it look better next time. I'm challenging myself, huh? I haven't had breakfast actually. Yeah? Bacon's over, so pancake is over for me. <laughs> Next! <laughs> this one I'm excited about. So, first, I'm gonna take some fresh cream. This is some from Milky Mist. This is some fresh strawberry compote from Flourish. Okay. Maybe I'm adding too much, but I don't give a sh. And then. Who hears from Bangalore? Y'all know Corner House! Corner House in the morning! Does it get better than that? Nice scoop. Nice clear pudding. <laughs> Just in case, if you're not feeling diabetic enough, let's. Oh, woohoo! Who cares if my pancakes didn't come out well? I gotta eat this for breakfast! <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> TLC, I am me, please. <laughs> Editor, please eat this. Oh my god. Oh my god, the cream. I swear the cream is a star. Y'all may not think it, but the cream is the star. And of course, my pancakes. Oh my god. I wish all of y'all could eat this. Well, y'all can because y'all can make it at home, but oh my god. I'm starving the rest of the day. I'm starving the rest of the day. Very worth it. Very, very, very worth it. Oh my god. Am I having an epiphany? Or I feel like I need to open a store and only sell these pancakes with this ice cream and fresh cream and compote combination because I, oh my god, I do so well. <laughs> This is better than any hotel combination I have eaten. Honestly, I'm a little annoyed with these hotels because I feel like it's so easy to get this right. And sometimes I feel like it can get a little conjuice on their behalf. So, I think you should make your own pancakes and enjoy the way I'm enjoying this. Huh? My compo is amazing to see. Subscribe, like, and next week I'm gonna do us so proud. I'm gonna.
and it was so freaking proud. Stay tuned. I can't swallow it. Can I swallow it? <laughs>